name is Louise Arnold, um, I'm a HR professional, um, and uh, so I spend time in the office, but um, I love being outside, I love taking my dog for a walk, um, hiking, um, anything outdoorsy. Um, so I decided to go ahead with the surgery because my, in my opinion I felt that I had very bad eyesight, um, so um, it was quite severe um, and I would wake up in the morning and have to put my glasses on straight away um, before I'd even moved out of the bed um, and I would wear them all the way through um, so it would either be glasses or contact lenses, I never went without them. Uh, until a point where I'd, I'd go to bed and I, the last thing I would do would have to be to take my glasses off um, rather than just trying to enjoy the moment. Um, and with contact lenses, I would get extremely dry and tired eyes after a certain amount of time, so felt that it was really important for me to um, see if I could get surgery done. Um, so I came along to, uh, to Auckland and I had that free consultation. Um, and was lucky enough that they said um, that they could have it done, um, that uh, actually four years prior I'd, I'd, I'd had a no um, from, uh, from an Australian company, so to come here to Auckland Eye for them to tell me that I could have the surgery done was amazing. Um, and so I went through the consultation process um, and uh, it was just super easy, everybody was really, really nice. Um, and then when they told me that I could have it done, um, they were like really quick in terms of when they could fit me in. Um, so I decided uh, that I was going to start down this avenue in the January and I, I actually had the surgery in the March, so it was a really quick turnaround for me. Coming into the surgery, didn't know what to expect. Um, a lot of people had told me that it would change my life, um, that they'd had it done, that there, there'd been no issues but it's still very nerve-wracking when it's your eyes and there's nobody that can tell you how nerve-wracking it's going to be but what I can say is in my experience everybody was super friendly, they taught me through the surgery, they told me exactly what was going to happen, how it was going to work so that when I walked into that room for the first time it wasn't a surprise, I knew what to expect. Um, when I lay down and the laser started to come over my eye. Um, yeah, the first eye, it was, it was nerve-wracking and um, it was over before I even knew it. So it was over within 30 seconds. I could hardly believe it. I woke up the next day and, and yeah, my eyes were a little bit dry the first few days, um, but they'd been through a trauma. Um, so we put the drops in off we went and, and I, that first week I didn't know what to do. I expected that I was going to have to you know, be there with my eyes shut for the next few days and I was up and around and doing whatever I wanted. Um, so it was just incredible. If I could say to anybody in terms of a surgery, I would say this is probably the quickest, the easiest and the simplest surgery you could probably ever have done. It was so easy. Everybody was fantastic um, in the communication that I got. I had a surgery done at 3 p.m. on a Thursday. I had my post checkup at 11 a.m. on a Friday, and that was it. My eyes were great. They said, yep, you can drive, off you go. Um, and it was just incredible. And the people um, that have uh, been along that journey with me um, have been incredible and Dr. David Pendergrass was fantastic. He was so calm and so relaxed through the entire surgery. So I absolutely would highly recommend that if anybody was thinking about this, just come and have a chat. Have a chat with the, with the people here. Um, whether you get David, Dr. David Pendergrass or you get somebody else, it doesn't matter because everybody here will look after you um, and make sure that you end up walking out with the same amazing experience that I've had.